In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we proclaim Jesus as our King. Let us praise Him. Let us worship Him. Let us submit ourselves to Him so that we may belong to His kingdom of justice, love, and peace. In a special way, we celebrate this Mass in thanksgiving to the Lord for the seven years of my ministry here at the Manila Cathedral. And we also thank the Lord for the gift of a new community of priests with Monsignor Rolly de la Cruz, Father Bong Bayaras, and Father Cali Liamado as they continue the mission of shepherding in our Mother Church. As we gather in the name of Jesus, our King, let us now ask God's pardon for all our sins and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. On behalf of the whole Manila Cathedral family, the servants and volunteers of the Manila Cathedral, the staff and the personnel, and the whole Manila Cathedral community and even those online, we would like to uh, express our thanks and gratitude to Father Reginald Malikdem, our rector for seven years. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. May He let His face shine upon you and show you His mercy now and forever. Amen. May He turn His countenance towards you and give you His peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Um. So I now officially end my role as Rector of the Manila Cathedral. I now pass the responsibility to Monsignor Rolly and to Father Bong. Welcome po sa inyo sa Manila Cathedral. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, today, the whole church, the whole universal church, declares and professes that Jesus is our only King. But Jesus is King not only because He came from the line of kings. There is something more than that. From the divine perspective, Jesus is King because He is the Son of God. In our Gospel today, that good thief at facing death said to Jesus, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. What was the response of Jesus? I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. 
But the paradise of Genesis does not compare to the paradise promised by Jesus. Because the paradise of Jesus is being with Jesus Himself. That is paradise. Hindi na natin kailangang hintayin na mamatay para maranasan natin ang paraiso. Dito pa lamang sa mundo, sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay, kapag nararamdaman natin na si Jesus ay nagahari sa atin, nasa paraiso na tayo. Even in the midst of suffering and pain, even in sickness, when we feel Jesus suffering with us, that is paradise. For the past seven years of my ministry here at the Manila Cathedral, I have considered the Manila Cathedral not only the structure but also the community as paradise. Hindi po dahil madali ang buhay dito, napakahirap po. Hindi po dahil mababait ang lahat ng tao, may mga pasaway din. It is paradise. Because in the midst of the challenges of ministry and ministering to people, to God's people, I have felt the love and concern of Jesus, not only for me, but for you, our dear brothers and sisters. And as I leave the paradise that is the Manila Cathedral, I will go to another paradise in the midst of the busy district of Makati. Sa gitna ng kaguluhan, ng business, ng traffic, ng shopping sa Makati, may paraiso dahil nandun din si Jesus. Let us not wait for the afterlife to experience that paradise. Let us allow Jesus to be king of our lives, of our families, of our society, of our country, and of the world, so that even here and now, we will be with Jesus in paradise.